Hello folks and welcome back to XCOM Long War and I just realised how terrible of a starting position this is basically if we move it just a bit to the left we have a good chance of alerting an outsider already the best thing we'd be able to do is to dash the concealment person up to here you know, to see if uh, the outsider is actually anywhere here. But in doing so, dashing her up could uh, show any aliens here, and because she would be flanked, she would be revealed. So this is a big issue. So I'm thinking of avoiding the UFO just now. That would probably be the most sensible option here. Right. Moving. Target acquired. Okay. Two in the fog. Oh, one on the fog actually. Take a shot. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's a good start. Hmm. You don't have a line of sight on the uh, other way, on the other one, so you just overwatch. If you were to move there, he could move to about there, maybe and get a nice shot on you so that's not an option I'm on the move. I'll get him next time. If I was to move to here on the other hand I'd probably get a good shot on him but anything over here could be revealed Let's try it. We're lucky. Right. 65. There's just that one in the fog. You have concealment. So you move on a bit ahead. He's flanked. 90%. Take it. Okay, that was a good first turn. Yes, commander. Uh, you used to pretty much have no cover. Out. On Overwatch. So yeah, Heading just Overwatch. do this. That's probably a bad idea. Yeah, the cheese is over this way. Since I think I've cleared out the surrounding area for the moment, I'll just pop the motion scanner, or tracker. Doesn't look like there's anyone. Okay, I'm going to take that dash I said about, because she will be concealed on the way there. Meld inside the uh, UFO. The outsider is not here, he's around this area here. Let's just. Yeah, he seems to be right in the. a bit there. Also, I just. hold on a second. There, I've actually activated the, um, you know, the show cursor so you can actually see what I'm doing. But what I was saying was. Uh, Outsider might be in this area here. Okay, that allows us to plan accordingly. I don't want you to go that way, that's likely to trigger the outsider.
since there wasn't anyone nearby, we'll put you there. Let's put you there. Put you here. This is probably a bad idea, but... If you don't take risks, you won't get rewarded. And you, of course, of course. To there. Next turn, we hit the outsider. 10 health, high aim, high damage. It's gonna be a hell of a time. Okay. Open up. Not not pizza delivery. Okay, he's in a really bad position for him. Well, first things first, flashbang. So, actually, no, we'll save it for if we don't kill him. That'd probably be the better option. That's affirmative. Move there. Okay, we just need one more hit. Jansen, since you don't have your uh, perk, let's get you some. But we'll put you here. Yes, let's get you some experience. Bye -bye. As I expected, one more pod. This had to be the motion tracker. I'll just keep calling a scanner just out of habit, so. Yeah, I'm guessing uh, another pod will be out this way. So. It's supposed to be safe, we'll move there first. Yep. I was right. They won't flank me from here, so I should be safe to just watch them. Kinda aliens, are ya? Just two sectoids. Next time, fellas, if you're drunk, don't drive. Okay. Right. Best to get everyone to a good Overwatch. position. Because we don't know when these little idiots are gonna move into us. Rolling. Moving. Moving to Overwatch. Shed Here they come. Just as I was hoping. Okay, they're moving back. Oh, there was another pod. Two drones by the looks of it. But our concealment soldier sees them so they're not triggered. Very nice. Oh great, the cheese is on top of the UFO. That's a cheesy spot if I ever saw it. Hey, no one has muscle fiber density. You do have sight of them. Negative ammo. I'm spent. I don't want to activate those drones if I can help that. Hmm. Moving. You move that way. Reloading. And reload. I'm gonna want someone kinda close to the drones, but not being able to be seen. And you, you don't have um, a shot, so move back. Reloaded. Reload.
pretty much nothing you could do. So you're within sight of the drones. If you move, then yeah, they will activate. It's not a good thing. Jansen. Move there. You just reload, because that won't do anything uh, bad to you. If they try and move up, I'm going to have to pray that the Overwatch just hit them. Nice. Good hit. Not far enough to actually reveal. Okay, three drones actually. They revealed themselves, so they won't shoot, thankfully. Two down to one health, that's nice. Really nice to know. But unfortunately she is now flanked. They don't get a shot this turn though, thankfully. Hmm. You don't have any ammo left. So your pistol, see what you can do against that drone. Missing a 91. Just my luck. Ready for anything activating there? No longer a threat. Roger that. Where did the other drone go again? I'm assuming that's the last pod. Oh, he must be sitting like right back here. Yeah. Okay, can I do anything about him actually? Where's the dude with the frag? I, uh, I can't move you up anywhere. Okay. Too close to him. Can you throw a grenade from here? Yes, but I would have to move her out of the way first. Hoping that wouldn't be the case. And I, before we kill him, just in case I have to dash her out, destroy this, hopefully, so that we can see this little. Idiot. And I forgot, trees can't be fully destroyed, unfortunately. But the grenades still go in. So I'm actually still happy with that result. And kill him. Thankfully, that mission wasn't any longer than it was supposed to be, that is. Because remember last time, hacking drones. Gotta hear them. If all our missions go as well as this one did, the aliens don't stand a chance. Nozulu. Suppression, kind of warheads, or shock and awe. I'm guessing suppression opportunist there. Maybe for Packmaster, for the extra uh, medkit maybe. We've also got Petmaster here or combat drugs. Probably go Petmaster. Resilience. 
But I'd have to see what your will's like uh, when you get the gunner, gunnery sergeant to decide what I pick here. So the suppression it is. So first off, let's sort out Jansen with his Grenadier perk. Your aim is above average, movement a bit below average, but your health is really nice. I'll make you a scout, and of course, I need to get into the habit of bringing up that um, perk list. Give perk 24. Um, Grenadier Lightning Reflexes. Not bad. Now let's look at the rest of your tree. In the zone. That's pretty nice. Lone wolf. And adaptive bone marrow. I'd probably go in the zone. Yeah, I'd really have to go in the zone with this one. We have Bombard, so that would be nice for Grenadier. I'd probably go Bombard over Petmaster right now. You don't have Run and Gun in your tree, do you? No, so that's useless. You're not going to be holding a med kit, so tax sense. I should mention, uh, a few people... Um, that I've been watching doing XCOM Long War streams. They've taken out perks like Snapshot that affect very few classes. I myself keep them in. Just because it increases the chance I might get a rubbish soldier. And not always get awesome soldiers. So yeah, it might make one of their perk levels, like this one, pretty much, okay I'm taking the lesser evil here. But I do still get really good perks levels like Lock and Load, Mind Control, and Science Inspiration. So it does balance out. Anyway, Ranger, Platform Stability, which is the same as Lone Wolf. Just Lone Wolf is you don't have to be, you know, not to be close to an ally. Or Concealment. Since you're going in the zone, I'm thinking Ranger. I should also mention uh, I'm borrowing another idea from um, one of the XCOM Long War streamers. Small dude, um, Ice Maverick 13. I'll put a link to his Twitch in the um, description. He basically has something called a Veterancy Perk where once the person reaches Master Sergeant, the next mission they go out on, and only this mission, if they come back without a scratch, they get one other perk decided by the player to round out the uh, build. I'm going to be doing that as well, but that won't be occurring for a long time, and even then. I'm going to have to get them through unscathed, so the chances of that happening, very slim. Yeah, I'd probably pick Ranger here. Maybe Lock and Load? I'd have to see what your will is. Or I could just take Science Inspiration and essentially an unpanic button. This, this Master Sergeant has got me, it 
Vile Point target and a plus base 2 damage to anything with Autopsied. A straight plus 2 to any Exalt and Outsiders. Or Absorption Field, which is 40% less damage and he may be up close at times. May. Or Will to Survive, which is just a flat plus 1 or 2 damage reduction if in cover not flanked. But this applies when flanked as well. I'd have to decide when I get here. Sanchez. High movement, high health, low aim. You've got the makings of an assault. But actually, let's make you a, um, yeah, gunner, because your will isn't too high. We need some more people with heavy weapons. Please tell me you get running gun or snapshot. No, you don't. Because if you had running gun or snapshot, that would be amazing. Rift won't be any use until we have Vortex armor. So maybe platform stability. Hmm. Do you gain any more rocket perks? You gain tandem warheads and that's about it. Probably lone wolf. Platform stability lone wolf. See, so far a terrible level. Yeah, terrible levels right here. Flash CCS or ready for anything. Probably ready for anything. Because that would be a nice bonus with platform stability and lone wolf. Looking at lock and load or rapid fire. Lock and load would be infinite suppression. Rapid fire would work well with heat ammo later on when we become when we come face to face with uh, sector pods, cyber discs. But I'm going to go for lock and load on this one. We'll still prob probably take heat ammo, but it'll just be one shot. Or I could take Field Medic and bring Pet Master. Yeah, I'll have to decide for you. 17 movement, really nice. Yeah, you're you're actually the perfect makings of a gunner. High aim, high health, high movement. Your well though is not any good, so you're not a rocketeer. Regen Biofield, Flush, and Fire in the Hole. Again, not a good level. Probably Regen Biofield. Light him up. Yeah, just light him up, yeah. Lock and Load, again, Infinite Suppression. But you don't get snapshot or uh, run and gun so squad sight won't be as good. Yeah, lock and load. Hmm. You know I should also have been looking at their uh, perks. Oh, yeah, concealment gunner. I could get behind that. I could definitely get behind that. So yeah, you're smoking mirrors. So Packmaster would be a really nice choice here. 
along with Bombard. For here though, maybe Sentinel? Jan, yours is Heat Warheads. But you really don't have the makings of a Rocketeer. So if anything, that Grenadier would have to do. I know I always call this class the Grenadier class, but that's just because of the main perk. Grenadier. I don't really call them Engineers. So, you have Heat Ammo, so you're all the heat. Light them up. Or Smoke Grenade. And I believe the throw 20% further does apply to this. Do you get any more smoke though? No. Hmm. So yeah, definitely a heat ammo. Actually, maybe no. Maybe light him up. Because yeah, actually yeah. Light him up. If he's close to an alien, he can take a shot. And if that doesn't kill... Grenade. I'd have to think about that. Oh dear. Bad level. That's useless as you don't have fire rocket. That would only apply to you, I believe, until you become an officer. This, you're not going to be carrying a med kit. Oops, wrong button. Um, yeah, you're not going to be carrying a med kit. Suppression would probably be nice. Repair, just as good. Squad sight, useless. Thing is though, do we want you to be going up and capturing? With your health, you could certainly do it a bit easier than most. But with your movement, you would not be able to get up close as easy. Probably suppression. Because even then, take a normal shot and then suppress. It would waste all of his magazine, but... Something. No overwatch penalty. That would stack with suppression really nicely. I'm liking the looks of that. Sapper. Your grenades and mines do one additional damage to enemies and all your weapons do additional damage to the environment. This is a no-brainer. More grenade damage with heat warheads? Sure. Precision saw is useless on you. I was hoping that was VPT but oh well. Psychokinetic strike would be nice if aliens are hiding behind a wall or better still hiding behind a car. But low profile would give you a lot more defense when you're actually up close to the aliens. As long as they don't move to flank you. Interesting. Yours was ready for anything. We need to start against some Rocketeers, so you're well probably the best out of the, the candidates. Body Shield, Fire and Hole, or Iron Skin. We can Gene Mod that in at any time. This, it's only if it's one enemy. Fire in the Hole. I'd have to hope your will becomes good. For this but it does make you a really good candidate for being a rocketeer as I mentioned before things I looked for was everything to be high health movement aim and will defense and damage resistance doesn't matter damage resistance you only get via perk 
for humans, so mind control here and hope your world gets a lot better. Probably suppression so you don't have to carry any med kits, so you can carry more rockets. I'm thinking depth perception, if anything, just for the more accurate rockets when he's up uh, in a high place. Smart macrophages or covering fire. Squad sight does nothing. I'd have to take the lesser of two evils and go smart macrophages. I mean, at least you're immune to poison and acid then. That's like the one good thing about that perk. Science inspiration means you could actually inspire yourself and mind control would be a lot better. Or absorption fuels would stop you from taking as much damage, coupled with iron skin, when we mod it in. I should say I've had people with absorption uh, fuels and iron skin. Also reinforced armour, which is pretty early on. I've had them actually take one damage in full cover. Kimura, what's your perk? I know someone had combined arms. Was it Nawar? No, it was not Nawar. You had combined arms. I know that's down the bottom of the list. One, three, eight. So let's just put that back on you for the moment so I know. Give perk one, three, eight. At least I'm pretty sure it was you. Yeah, I checked everyone else. Okay, so some perks do still come off when you get back to the barracks. Fair enough. So I might have to make note of that if it keeps coming off. High health, high aim, low movement. High well as well. You got me a medic. Suppression. I'll definitely take that. Resilience, okay. I was gonna pick mind free here, but then there's also extra conditioning, and you are pretty tanky. Too bad you don't get any more tanky abilities. Hmm. I'm just looking at that gunnery sergeant level, oh gosh. So you're probably mind free. Maybe. Grenadier? Yeah, here's the level I'm just like, why? You have suppression, so mayhem is going to be really good for you. Um. It's essentially a plus two flat damage, I think. And then along with suppression, you're actually doing two damage. Mayhem would also pair well with Grenadier. So I could take Grenadier. But then there's Telekinetic Field, which is essentially a free dense smoke. The recharges every four turns. Or we have light him up. Which is just two shots. Or essentially, take a shot and then heal someone if they're beside you.
Then we have uh, Lightning Reflexes and Cypanic. With your will, Panic could be an option. But then again, with your Grenadier Mayhem, Lightning Reflexes would let you get in close. So I'm thinking Grenadier Mayhem, Lightning Reflexes with this one. Yours was dense smoke. I know that for a fact. I still make too many scouts. You had snapshot. If I'd made you a gunner, that would have been amazing. Dang. You don't get combat drugs or free smoke. Right. Vile point target. That's really nice to have. But mind free, your will's pretty nice. You have precision shot. If you'd gotten squad sight, that would have been amazing. Still really nice. Because it does actually affect you. So I'll, I'll probably take um, maybe mind free precision shot. I'm looking at dead eye and double tap. I'd probably pick double tap. But then here's a tricky level. Well, not as tricky. Iron skin with absorption fields, that would be pretty nice. But then there's concealment. It would also be a wise idea also to pick up secondary heart because his will is pretty nice I wouldn't want that being lowered by him being correctly wounded and secondary heart prevents the will loss hmm then we also have platform stability inspiration and pupils with double tap, pupils would be really nice. Science inspiration though would be good for mind free and any other side perk you happen to be trained in. Once you've, um, yeah. I'd have to decide when I get to tech sergeant. Now that that's that done. Let's get on. Oh, not back to the barracks. Operational. Let's get some excavation going. Alrighty, the ships. Shivs are ready. So, with shivs, I've decided I would change the limits for their promotions. It would be every 10 kills that they get essentially a promotion and a new perk, chosen at random. Speaking of which, they do still get random rookie perks. So I'll just bring up random.org.
we have number 117 for Thunder 1. That is found recapture drone, that is not applicable, it does not work with anyone. Number 2 I believe doesn't work. So shall you fight. Huh. I believe that's thing you do with cover and if it is then I can actually apl apply that. Low profile doesn't apply, it's cover based. This is the problem with ships, so many perks don't actually work. Platform stability, okay this one works, 141. Give perk 141. Platform stability. Now if he doesn't move, he'll have plus 10 aim and plus 10 crit chance I believe. Really nice. For Thunder 2, we have 133. Advanced Fire Control. So essentially, he doesn't, he won't uh, miss uh, with Overwatches as often. So 133, give perk 133. Thunder 3. One sixty nine, and that is electro pulse, which doesn't work. So fifty eight lock and load, not bad at all. Fifty eight. So these are the three ships. Platform stability, advanced fire control, and lock and load. Excavation complete. Excavation's complete at least. Now let's go see what we can do there. Yeah, it's all funds, that's the problem. Not power. Okay, repair bay. Even though we're not going to be repairing uh, things, we still need this for... Um, building mechs. So, yeah. We'll have to build a one point. Don't worry folks, I'm not, this is not me being bad right here. If you haven't played Long War, this is a set piece in the game. Basically what happens is the aliens choose a country and they take it over in month one to give you an alien base to actually take back. Because you can take back um, countries in this which is pretty nice. This basically means they set up an alien base, so we know where it is. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror mo Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. 
That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Two problems there. One, Shen. We know where the base is. Second problem. If you noticed back on the um, screen where they were showing about the physiology, we've not encountered Thin Men yet. So how do we even know they exist? And this is normally completed pretty early on in vanilla as well. A little bit of a... a thing there. Anyway, assign your research. Right. Let's go for weaponry. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. Everyone's coming back. Okay, some sectoid corpses. An extra scientist? Yeah, sure. It's probably a bad idea, but... Sectoids are common. For the moment. Power generator complete. Alright. One fission generator. Here we have our next mission. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the hologlow. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay, now. Where was our, um, one scout? Was it you? No. Where was that one scout? Oh yes, it was you, Farah. I want you to level up as fast as possible. You getting mayhem would pretty much secure our damage dealing potential right now. And that would essentially mean that month one, once you have mayhem, we would be able to deal about 15 damage on a crit, something like that. So obviously we do not want you dying, so you're getting ceramic plating. I hope we'll give you a flashbang. Also, I forgot. Make items available. They'll take any uh, limited use items, like motion trackers, off of things that we don't want to uh, have them. I'm pretty interested in bringing out Thunder 2 and Thunder 3. So let's bring one of them out. And I think we'll bring rookies from here on out. Weber. Pi. You. And you. Okay, I'll just give these um, rookies their uh, random rookie parts. I will be right back. It seems that every episode we get someone who comes up with one of those um, class choosing perks. 
Moraes here has Fire Rocket, which is unfortunately the Rocketeer perk. So once again, perk is noted. She won't be getting her perk now. It'll be after the mission. Otherwise she'll glitch out. Okay. So the random rookie perks, Moraes is Fire Rocket, which is very unfortunate. Pi got Battle Scanner, so he'll have two free Battle Scanners and can throw them a bit further. So that's really nice. Weber got Sprinter, so she actually has 19 movement. That is absurd. Of course, the Shiv already got his perk. Vara has got his perk, obviously. Bella Quiz, um, or Bella's Quiz, got Aggression. Torres got Jetboot Module. And Menzies got Repair, which is useless right now, as we don't have any Arc Throwers. And for XCOM it only affects Arc Throwers. Okay, let's put you in Attack Vest. Spare Med Kit. And a HE grenade. Torres. Take a spare med kit. And I suppose have the laser sight. You. You're just pretty good in general. So I'm probably going to want you to hit more with your aggression. And everything else is pretty nice, so medkit. So we've got three medkits, that's nice. Weber with Sprinter. You don't have the health for attack vest, unfortunately. Though I feel like giving you an SMG and making you go Sanic. In fact, this is probably a really bad idea. That is absurd right now. That is the one drawback of me um, adjusting the movement and uh, aim. With Sprinter, Tag Best, and SMG, that's 24 movement. You and your battle scanner, I might give you another one. Nah, two should be enough. We'll give you a laser sight. In fact, actually... Mm, class limit. Huh. Interesting. Uh, we'll give you... Give you a smoke grenade. Moraes, unfortunately your perk can't influence what I'm gonna do with you, so ceramic plating for you. Yeah, laser sight. So that should be the squad. I should also mention, uh, next week, since it's the Halloween week, all episodes will be uh, an hour long. I doubt I'd be able to make uh, XCOM fit into two missions, otherwise um, 
Well, one, I wouldn't be able to go over the perks. Second, I would have to fit in two missions into two hours, most likely, in that case. So that is a problem with uh, XCOM. It would just be a normal episode for that. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. This is interesting. I've never started on this side of the map. And the only time I've ever seen anyone actually, well, start on this side of the map was actually the exalt mission that they revealed um, when Enemy Within was going to come out. But anyway, we'll save it here. This has been uh, Scotch Boy 112 signing out.